There's a lot of talk today about how to generate clean electrical power. While much of this discussion centers on renewable sources, that doesn't change the fact that our base load power, that which utilities can depend on continuously, will depend largely on coal plants for the foreseeable future. In that regard, many of us have heard about the scrubbers that get installed in coal plants to take out the sulfur, mercury, and other pollutants from the exhaust gas before it hits the atmosphere. But if you don't happen to work in an electrical utility, it may be a little hard to envision what an exhaust gas scrubber really looks like. So we are indebted to the folks at the Duke Energy Marshall Steam Plant outside of Charlotte, North Carolina for letting us take a look at the scrubber installed there. This equipment lowers the plant's sulfur dioxide emissions by about 95%. What you quickly realize looking at this thing is that the scrubber by itself for this 2000 megawatt plant takes up as much space as the original plant did. What you see here are the scrubber stacks, plus the enclosures for the equipment that shoves limestone and water into the coal plant exhaust gases. The product of the scrubbing operation is a synthetic gypsum, good enough to be used for manufacturing drywall and other industrial products. Duke Energy also introduces halogens into the gas to help capture the mercury coming out. What you see coming out of the stacks is basically just water vapor and hot air. You also realize from looking at the scrubber contraption is that a significant amount of power produced by the plant has to go into powering the scrubber. At the Marshall Steam Plant, the scrubber is a 35 megawatt load. In other words, a little less than 2% of the electrical energy this coal plant produces goes into powering its own scrubber. Another way to look at it is that 18 2 megawatt wind turbines running 24-7 would be needed just to make up for the energy put into powering the scrubber on this coal-fired plant. Now, of course, that said, it would take over 3,000 2 megawatt wind turbines to equal the output of this coal plant, simply because wind turbines on average generate power only 30% of the time or less. What becomes easy to understand looking at Duke's Marshall facility is that a scrubber isn't just some gizmo stuck in the smokestack of a coal-fired generator. It is a big investment on the part of the utility in the name of cleaning up air quality.